fans have expressed an outpouring of relief after it was announced Harry and Meghan would not be joining the Queen on the Buckingham Palace balcony to celebrate her jubilee. Buckingham Palace announced on Friday that after careful consideration only working royals will make an appearance alongside the Queen to watch the traditional fly-past closing the Trooping the Colour Parade, June 2. Royal watchers have taken to social media to express their jubilation. Twitter user at Dram Books commented, probably wise. The booing would probably drown out the noise of the REF flypast. At Claire A. Turner said, good decision. Meanwhile, at Stumped Blue Eon One noted, putting the focus back where it should be on Her Majesty's and an amazing achievement of 70-year reign so pleased. The Queen has decided that only full-time working royals will appear with her on the balcony for the Trooping the Colour celebrations. However, there are exceptions, including Prince Anne's husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, who is not a working royal and various grandchildren and great-grandchildren including Prince William and Kate Middleton's children George, Charlotte, and Louis. The move can be interpreted as reinforcement of the Queen's belief that you are either in or out of the royal family. After careful consideration, the Queen has decided this year's traditional Trooping the Colour Balcony appearance on Thursday 2 June will be limited to Her Majesty and those members of the royal family who are currently undertaking official public duties on behalf of the Queen, a spokesman for the palace said. In addition the Cambridge and Wessex children are also expected to appear as is Sir Tim Lawrence, who the Queen is happy to attend as a frequent attendee in support for the Princess Royal on official engagements. Sources close to the monarch say that she is looking forward to the Platinum Jubilee celebrations and inviting her family to join her on the balcony as her way of thanking them for their support over the decades. The selection is in sharp contrast to the last Jubilee in 2012 which saw the Queen flanked by Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, Prince William. Kate Middleton and Prince Harry in what was widely viewed as Charles' vision for a slimmed-down royal family. Despite the Sussexes quitting royal duties, there had been speculation about whether Harry and Meghan would be invited to join the Queen for the historic moment, with reports that the Queen had extended an invitation to Harry and Meghan to be there. While Prince Andrew and the Sussexes have essentially been banned from the balcony appearance, they will attend some of the key jubilee moments. Vanity Fair has learned Andrew intends to attend the National Service of Thanksgiving on June 3 and today a spokesman for the Sussexes confirmed Harry and Meghan will be coming over to the UK with their children, Archie and Lilibet. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are excited and honoured to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this June with their children, a spokesperson for the couple said. While the Queen is expected to attend a number of Jubilee events including the Thanksgiving service, her attendance will be confirmed on the day of each event. Over the course of the four-day weekend, a number of events are planned to celebrate the Queen's 70 years of service. The Derby, one of the monarch's favorite racing events, takes place on Saturday, June 4 and in the evening Buckingham Palace will play host to the Platinum Party at the Palace. On Sunday, June 5, the Jubilee kicks off while the Platinum Jubilee pageant in the capital. It was announced today that the Gold State Coach, which transported the Queen to her coronation and on her previous Jubilees, will lead the pageant. It will be first time it has been seen on the streets of London in 20 years. Instead of carrying the Queen, it will showcase original footage from the Queen's coronation day in the coach windows. Sources close to the Queen say it is unlikely she will ride in a carriage again because stepping up into the carriage and travelling in it would be too difficult for her. While the schedule is being finalised and London prepares for four days of celebrations, courtiers planning the event have had to come up with a number of contingency plans because of the Queen's health.